Good day, everyone. How are we all doing? I am doing excellent. Just to let you all know, I'm hanging out here in Gilbert, Arizona. Premium coach group. Beautiful American Prevo conversion. That legendary Prevo conversion. Um, both of those, if I'm not mistaken, that one's been inspected and the deal is closing on that one and that one looks to be sold. This beautiful 2006 Country Coach Intrigue. But I've come by to find something a little harder for myself to find than the old 06 Country Coach Intrigue. I built one of those, many of those, so on and so forth. You all know that game. But the four travel, only a couple videos of these done. I have worked on a few of them, but I like to take the chance to get a good four travel video. Now this one here is gonna be a 2015. It's gonna have four slide rooms on it. Asking price is gonna be $4.99. It's gonna have a Cummins in it, 600 horse. We'll get to more details of this, that, and the other. We've got that PGA Golfers Edition that I did a video of previously over here. So lots of beautiful coaches. Got this marathon that was just behind me. I think we'll do a tour of that here pretty soon. Oh, and then we got the American Heritage. So a few previous videos here, as you can see. I think that legendary, the Monaco, and then that American Heritage. But let's get this four travel video started. So we're talking about four travel about 75,000 miles, 45 footer, four slides, beautiful parliament style awnings, except they're not gonna be, they're gonna be a different one of the carefrees, so they're, they're a little taller, but they have that two stage in there. Now, of course, these aren't ran all the way out, but I did wanna give you a quick little show of those. So I've got the remote control here, the old carefree awnings. Make sure I hit the retract button, and boom, we'll run all those in. Now it does have that LED lighting up in the inside edges of those, which is really nice. Kind of creating a nice little ambiance outside. So that's those. Gonna have a keyless entry at the entry door, that executive style entry step, and then these cafe bay doors. Some pretty cool detail in this paint. So that beautiful detail you can kind of see here on the top edge that coming around there. Now this will even have a bay entertainment or an exterior TV entertainment. Throw those two latches, give that a swing. You can see they've even come inside and the detail on here with those doors. We'll give this TV a pull out. So there's your exterior TV right there. And then you're gonna have your speakers down here or your stereo receiver here. I haven't met the speakers actually yet. And then we've got that exterior freezer cooler. But let's go ahead and get all the bay doors open. Get you the complete tour of this thing down this side of it. All right, there we go. All the bays open. So bay one, complete pass through over to the other side. When I get over that side, you'll kind of see that some more. You've got some air regulators and so on and so forth for the entry step probably. Um, maybe a pocket door or two like that. A chassis air tank there. 110 outlet up there on the top. Now, so we got that power slide tray. You got this controller right here. You can run that out towards you. You can run that back in and away from you. Then have that full pass through tray with the power slide tray here again, going in and out. And then kind of like we lightly covered earlier, got this slide tray that'll have your Norcold refrigerator freezer in there even a little shoe rack back there now you're gonna have your central vacuum on this coach and then this is gonna be your uh, roof awning control box and that's gonna be for that wireless remote that's what that is this is the electronic solutions control for that carefree the two main roof awnings inside of there and then as I covered earlier we've got in this bay a radio a 110 outlet let's give that a reset and then it looks like you've got some compressed air in this bay also now these are a motion light in the top so they'll automatically turn on when you come up and then in this bay is just going to be your chassis start batteries and then your house batteries there on the bottom got your fuel fill on this side now i will give them a thumbs up on the water manifold so you can turn that stuff off one by one 
but I'm gonna have to give them a mild thumbs down on this location for the silver leaf modules right next to the water filter. If these modules right here <laughs> go down, you're gonna have all kinds of issues with your house system, but they could just simply be removed. They're only held on with two screws. Screwed up here to the ceiling, maybe the other one over here to the other side, a lot less chance of uh, water getting sprayed on them. These relays may be flipped over, so if they did get water in them, it wouldn't drain right into the inside. They could be a water resistant uh, relay, but I'm not I'm gonna quote them on that. Bay heat over here on the left. Uh, this is gonna be where you plug in the laptop to actually talk to the silver leaf system if you've got the Omni scope open and you're trying to troubleshoot shoot some solutions with anything that has to do with the silver leaf. This TM-102 right here is the heart of it all. That's what it all revolves around. These are sub control boxes. We'll find those on the other side. Sorry, getting a little techie there on you, but we've got the water pump down there on the very bottom bay. Probably a water fill valve right here with the solenoid to open and close that. So that covers your water bay. Wow, I just got up and look at the time spent on the detail of painting the bottom of the slide room. I mean, I'm not here to, I love this coach. Don't take me wrong and I'm not here to beat it up because I can beat up the country coach right next to me too. No one does it perfect, but my thought is you painted the bottom of the slide room. I would like maybe just a small trim on the back side of this door so I didn't see all this hardware and everything. And you could simply just screw it to this rail and screw it to that rail and it would have covered the whole thing. But hey, I mean, I love this coach. It's a beautiful coach. That bait, that exterior TV there, nice cafe bay doors, big 600 horse Cummins, tag axle of course, four travel still in production. So here's the back end of this beautiful coach. It's gonna have that big class, high class uh, receiver on it. I'm gonna say at least 15, if not 20,000 pound rating on that hitch. I don't remember right off the top of my head. We're gonna have access to that big Cummins right here. So I've got that Cummins 600 horse. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think this is the 600 back in here. Now this is gonna have a particulate filter and all that good stuff on it. And then now we've made our way to the driver's side. Here's that uh, backside, all that Cummins particulate filter stuff. Looks like the def fill location right here. So that's where you're gonna put in your def fluid. Nice, large, I wanna say these are gonna be a 315 or a 265. Yeah, 315 on this drive axle. And then a 315s on both those. Let's go ahead and get all these bay doors open and get you tour down this side. Sorry about that fan noise. All righty, there we go. All the bay doors open on this driver's side. Of course, your plumbing bay here. Gonna have your stinky slinky hose all built in, your fresh water in, your drains for your two tanks, and then your water pump bypass and your uh, water fill bypass, and then a reset for that silver leaf network also. That's what the RVC network is. And that talks to the entry door controls and anything that that silver leaf's running. This is in case that silver leaf system goes down. There's going to have your exterior faucet for the outside. And while we're talking about silver leaf going down, we'll talk about the if it does. You're going to have your outback controller mounted up here on this left hand side to go with these dual outback inverters. You're going to have that compressor for your auxiliary air system and then all your hydraulics for all your slide room controls and uh, cylinders and so on and so forth. Got that transfer switch on that back wall. Got a main disconnect up here on the left, but here's that uh, outback controller. So in case the silver leaf goes down inside, you can view that through there. And then we come up to the next bay, you're gonna have the aqua hot. And in case these, one of these uh, silver leaf modules for say here goes down, You've got your aqua hot controls over here on the right hand side so you can still run your aqua hot so it's nice that they've got the repetitive systems in case that rvc network crashes you can still run a lot of components on this coach got that big 600d with the dual electric elements for the uh, aqua hot system with that large diesel burner so you get continuous hot water and then you can heat the coach that way also so here's these uh other pass-through bays here 
You got your Trimark alarm into there. You got these two wires are actually your RVC network going into here. So that way the silver leaf can actually talk to your Trimark alarm system. On the right hand side, these are gonna be your control boxes for all the different slide rooms, leveling systems, all that good stuff located right there. A little light up in the top, of course, then. And then we've got that switch located right here to be able to run that slide tray in and out if you're over here on the uh, driver's side. Full pass-through bay here. On this forward wall, you're gonna have a bunch of circuit breakers, auto resetting, so you don't ever need to get to really any of those, and a few relays. That's their plug and play junction for when they build this board on the box or on the bench. And um, let's see, a 110 outlet there. Another bay door with those slide tray switches there. This is not gonna have a front run box. It is gonna have the radiator for the generator. So that's where your generator radiator is. Once you get 110 volts coming out of your gen, it fires up this fan. And then if I remember correctly, you can run this switch here. There's the generator on this unit. If I do want to say it was rated out at a 20K, yeah, 20K dub on that. It's going to have the windings from a marathon on it with the Kubota motor. So it's an EPS, energy power sources. It's going to be the manufacturer on that. So I think that concludes the outside tour of this coach. It will have the fake awning faces up there because you don't have awnings on this side. Now on that other side, it did have dual awnings over there. So I want to say that is pretty much the exterior tour of this beautiful coach. Let's get a tour inside. ceiling and floor tile so on the floor you've got this uh, marble style tile and then this black trim here now this coach will have a flush floor so this section actually drops down then the room comes in over the top of it and same no not on that side so that side won't be a flush floor it just goes back so far that it simulates that it's a flush floor but this one here truly does because at the booth dinette here you'll see you've got that so all right well i say we just get started in the very front as usual so we got a flip down front tv there and then we're going to have some cabinets up over the top front overhead here some storage there 110 outlet the older wi-fi ranger up there and then here you're going to have the wall mounted roof on and control there and it looks like you've got a home uh Universal Remote by Home Theater, if I remember right. No, it's Universal Remote by Universal Remote. There. And then you've got this multi-layer front here with this vinyl here. And then you'll see some of that vinyl brought into the back bedroom also. Then you're going to have another cabinet here. Talking about the Ford Travel December 13th chassis manufactured date. But it will be a 2015, as it says up there, the model year. And then the abbreviations, the IH for the 45 and so on and so forth. You got some pound weightings, what have you there. And then over here in this overhead, you've got that wine guard controller for that pop-up direct TV there. Slide room control here. Local TV channel booster here. TV amplifier there. Got the spider light controls here in the walls to be able to turn all your ceiling lights on, all your accent lights, all that stuff. It'll do all your blinds. It'll do your front windshield blinds, everything. We'll kind of go over this cockpit area real quick. We'll turn on here. You've got that silver leaf in dash monitor here with the silver leaf controls there. 
for travel logo on that radio there let me go ahead and turn down the static and then you've got blind controls here pedal controls or heater controls it does have the hwh active air for the air leveling system which is kind of nice it kind of helps be a little quicker than your traditional ride height valves allison transmission got that retarder there for the tr allison transmission and your good old park brake control there step cover on this particular coach so you're gonna have a switch here for that and as you can see that comes out locks in for the passenger there then hit that button again retracts back in there so really nice looking dash i do like it, it has pretty good feel to it nice radius there's some vents down there in the bottom got that kind of checkered pattern there at the tile of the entryway one thing that uh Old James and I were talking about the AZ Expert. If you haven't checked him out on YouTube, but give him a check out. But how many different colors and tones and things there are in this motorhome. It kind of throws him off. I don't know. I kind of like it. Throw a comment below. If you're on James's side of too many different textures, because you got this bamboo look like. Then you've got this graphite looking wood finish here. And then this different wallpaper and some different stuff up there but i don't know i've seen new mars where the same fabric that's on the dash is on the seats is on the couch is on the window box is on the dinette booth is on the window box in the back and it's the same materials all the way through the whole coach so i don't know i kind of like this coach it's growing on me the more i'm in it it is in nice condition really nice 2015 45 foot four travel it's got all the modern luxuries in it these four travel seats i'll throw a link below on the last four travel that i did and they're kind of unique i don't know about the button armrests and this and that i'm going to go with that i am with james maybe on these cab chairs maybe some other fabric i'm scratching my head i know you can't see me but i don't know what but anyway onward and upward got this <laughs> slide room over here on the driver's side gonna have this little seat here does have a pop-up tv you just simply hit tv lift here press open tv comes popping up there you do have that cabinet just below it with a little bit of room there for some storage nice granite countertops really nice finish got that samsung tv you're gonna have that booth style dinette so that'll be kind of nice because you'll have some drawers down here in the very bottom and then you'll have drawers again at the rearward end in the very bottom. Now, I just did a tour on the PGA coach across the way. Talking about how someone said, oh, you're talking about storage. Look, no storage. Excuse me. No storage across the top in this coach. And no storage over here across the top in this coach. That's a lot of square footage in cabinet space lost. Now, that doesn't make this a bad coach. It just makes the example of some manufacturers use... The interior layout a little different than others this coach does have enough storage i think to get by i think you've probably got some there under this couch let's take a look see what we got oh we got the air mattress here so this will pop out to be a full air mattress so no storage there but you do gain a lot in that booth dinette and you've got a large galley area here um and then even some storage here aft now see that's where they've made a lot of it up would be pretty ample storage here i mean i know this is the kitchen area so you're not going to end up with magazines and games and rving things in there you're going to end up with your galley stuff in there but nice storage there let's go ahead and get you a full tour of this galley with all the doors and drawers open though all right voila there we go galley is all opened up we'll start at the bottom because i found this to be pretty cool so you've got a drawer here hidden behind this main drawer that actually has that pull out trash can in it spot maybe to put some cleaners, scrub daddy so on and so forth there but it's nice how you get this drawer space here for somewhere just for storage ooh 2015 slow closed drawers so this will come out same depth as the other one but check this out boom auto close kind of nice these new drawer rails all right there we go that all closed up that all closed up got that one there you've got some pullouts here again in the very bottom 
some more pullouts. You've got the uh, glass and the metal insert for that new um, convection oven style there. That's going to be the newer Advantium 120. Nice ample storage up here. Like I uh, noted uh, many times before in many videos, got some nice carpeted shelves. All these high line manufacturers don't be skipping that stuff. Another wall control there. Now back here across the back, let's even kick on the surface light for the microwave. Surface light. Oh, got to set the time and everything first before I can get the surface light to work. All right, there. Now we can turn that surface light on for you. Give you a nice look at this tile backsplash. It's pretty cool. I like these stepped backsplashes, especially on these deep galleys. Uh, Country Coach used to do that in the Lexa and the Magna product. I always thought it was pretty cool. It's just, I don't know, gives a nice little touch. Here you've got those LED lights in the bottom of it. Makes it really nice. Nice storage here at the forward end. So that's going to be your galley walk through of this area. Um, let's get a tour. Of course, we covered this storage here, so we'll consider that kitchen storage. And then we've got this large Kenmore Elite three door refrigerator freezer combo. Really nice unit. And then even that pull out ice tray and so on and so forth in the very bottom. Nice and modern, very large refrigerator. Then this is going to be the end of your slide room, so you'll have nothing there. But then you do get one more cabinet here, so you've got some nice ample storage. Adjustable shelves throughout here. Even got that central vac here, like we talked about on the outside, a cool sweep vent. So you actually flip that up, flip it down, get that all dialed in. Now over here on this side, we're going to have that half bath toilet room. Really nice. You're going to find that piano hinge. Nice and rigid on that door. Give you an inside shot of that beautiful piano hinge again. So no flex in the door. Very high quality there. Got a couple cabinets here. Let's see what's in we got in here. Oh, we got some adjustable shelves in here. And then this is going to be your 110 breakers coming from your inverter in from your shore powers now we'll make our way over here you've got that uh dometic turd grinder toilet with the push button operation there nice little sink here in the toilet room nice mirror some ample storage up in here nice outlet be able to put your charger for your razor or something in there now this is why we kind of sat down we got a mountain money storage here and then we got mountain money storage here this one i think could have maybe ended up over here but you got one up there let's call it a towel bar holder even though it's kind of got the mountain money edge on the end of it but anyway no mountain money to be found in this coach completely detailed on the interior very nice nice coach nice vinyl ceiling got that fart fan up there in the ceiling so we've come out of that toilet room now we do have in here your air conditioning control, your silver leaf, where I talked about it's talking to that Trimark alarm system because you can actually lock and unlock your doors here and then all your other functions for those modules and so on and so forth. This is the main window here, which is gonna give you the most amount of data that you have available. Slide room controller here for the rearward slide rooms. More light controls here. It does have a cool air pocket door, so you can actually do close press and hold that button and that will close that pocket door for you and then you've got that pocket door closed it kind of gives you that entertainer bus feel with the same texture and then that uh for mica style finish on there we'll go ahead and open this door back up and now we've made our way back here to the bed nice large king size bed some large lights there on the right and the left side. You got some ceiling speakers mounted in those overheads. You've got uh, some more light controls here, of course, that pocket door. And let's see if we got a mirror on that. Nope, no mirror on that pocket door, but I think we're gonna find a place to get ourselves all glamored up a little bit later. So that's closed. Looks like we do have a nice little storage here at the end of the bed. Place to shove a few things. 110 volt outlet, of course, here to be able to charge your phone. Got that Intellitech lighting, not Intellitech, spider lighting control. 
there in the overhead to be able to do a master on and off start and stop your gen so on and so forth if you feel the need to do that back here some very nice cabinets over the top of the bed here we'll open these up let you get all a show and tell of those and then you've got the center section now that's going to be all the way through on that middle one and then those two are going to be like these like i said nice large king size bed got another one of those matching drawers over here at the rearward end of the bed and then another 110 outlet there nice wallpaper i kind of like the texture of this wallpaper makes me think about something i might put in my coach got that vinyl on the wall here and then some tile up this wall and then this uh transition strip in the metal i do like the way it breaks it up from that stuff i don't know about the tile necessarily but this is a beautiful coach i mean this shows that it's a very high rich feeling coach and coming in at over a million dollars when it was brand new it needed to do that nice ceiling treatment here it does have that nice ceiling treatment pretty much exactly the same in the forward end but i think that covers everything on that bed side so you've got a tv here i like the way that it's kind of frameless the edge of it is the screen gonna open this cabinet here up some ample storage here i kind of like the way they just left the countertop in there didn't throw a false floor or anything in there kind of keeps it clean using every inch of space let's go ahead and get all these drawers open gonna be decent size i'm sure the very bottom one is gonna be consistently the same yep same there and then in the center gonna have some more storage here looks like a few adjustable shelves nice cabinet again here oh this does have a retracting bed so you can actually retract go to say position one and it will move all the bed up like as it's doing right there and it's going to mess up all the bedding and everything but you get an idea what's going on there then you can hit it again it stops it and then you can go back to level just by hitting this remote here also and it is cool it's in two halves so if one person just wants to sleep the other one sit up read kind of nice to be able to have that divided that way so cool part of one of the uh cool options of this coach got that retracting bed but it does multiple ways now we made our way back to that rear bathroom beautiful bathroom this shower enclosure is stunning looking got that crl lawrence hardware again for that glass nice swinging door there make our way in we've got this nice tile floor got this little seat area spot to put your foot up gets washed there nice little shampoo soap caddy nice large shower head a little skylight here i don't know how much you can see out of that skylight or how much it helps i like my skylight because i can see the trees when i'm in the forest well this one we're not going to get to see those all right so that covers that got the little edge here not a large step down get that shower enclosure closed back up Put that travel lock back into the travel position it does have dual locks on this enclosure so that way you make sure it's not coming open when you're going down the road got that dometic toilet there and a nice large cabinet here let's see which end ah that's the end so there we go as you can see nice lined cabinets inside of there then here at the rearward end looks like we've got some cabinets again but it's going to go back into the corner. So a little more storage there. Got some area to leave a few things out on the sink behind the sink. Kind of nice. And then we should have some nice ample storage here under the sink also. Yeah. So good storage there. Dometic turd grinder toilet. Little access here behind it it looks like. And then you got a little window even in here. So you can open that up. Little mountain money holder. All right. What do we have? Let's see. I'm going to go with washer dryer. Woo! I can tell by the size of it. All right. Washer dryer here imported by Splend D into the United States by our good friends over at Westland Sales up in Vancouver, Washington. For all your washer dryer RV needs. And then over here on the other side is going to be a nice 
closet with your audio video rack in the very middle of it pretty cool here you can actually pull this door all the way around because it's on that piano hinge again and then release these two tabs you can pull this whole audio video rack out you've got that rack mount in here got the integra very similar to what we use in the country coach integra again there and then of course those direct tv receivers and the digikey switcher if i was gonna guess all this audio video stuff came from a distributor in indiana called mito corporation they help audio video support out for these uh, rv manufacturers that sometimes don't get audio video real well so they come up with these packages they do the remote programming and all that stuff mito corporation so that comes covers your audio video there i'm sure we've got some nice ample storage for the drawers here four of those another one down here in the very bottom and then these also got some storage here on the side so you can throw some shoes or something in there you do have some bar length right there some bar length there some more bar length and even some more bar length there maybe even a towel bar or a towel holder if you want to call it that there nice access though to get to the back of that mixer valve and whatnot in the shower so got to give them an attaboy on that got some ac vents in the ceiling in here to keep this audio video equipment cool so really nice there we'll go ahead and close this cabinet door up it's got the four travel motor coach etched into the door there so those are automatic trigger when you uh, with motion so it's nice so all right well everyone i think that is a complete tour of this 2015 four travel 45 foot coming in at right around five hundred thousand dollars if you're looking for any details hit up premium coach group here in gilbert arizona they'll get you helped out either kate or chad or one of their jail or salesmen will get your questions answered uh the tires on her are 2018 and newer uh the batteries i didn't really see the dates on those but those guys will get you those answers for that i just wanted to give you a tour of this stunning coach i really do like the fit and finishes of it comment below if you think james is right with too many colors or if you think that it's all right and you're with me so all right everybody thanks for taking that time to subscribe if you haven't hey hit that subscribe button because you never know what we're going to be pumping out of here next it's four travels today monaco's tomorrow country coach tech videos the day after so all right everyone till next time bye bye now